he was in the car with me, and he went to go pick him up, and we both crashed into each other, but it was my fault. How did you guys crash into each other? I, w I will take the blame. I was under the influence. He's fine. I'll she, was, she was going straight, and I turned the car around, and I realized that she was not being I dropped him off in front of the Walgreens. It's right in front of Groveland Ave. I dropped him off there. He was walking, and he went to go pick him up, and he bumped into me, but I'm under the influence, and I'll take the blame, and it's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. Please, honey, tell him though. Police department. Is anybody else in the apartment with you? Yes, sir. My little brother and my girlfriend, sir. What's your girlfriend's name? Liana Grenelia, sir. Okay, can we can we talk to her, please? No problem, sir. Is anybody hurt? No, sir. Liana. What's up, sir? You need me for hours. Liana. Do you get a move? Why don't you come out here? Yes, sir. How old's your brother? Hi. What's going on? It's all my fault. Who's driving which car? I was driving the Elmer. I was driving the Honda, the blue Honda. Well, what happened? I just went back to go pick him up and then realized that she was to the left. He was in the car with me and he went to go pick him up and we both crashed into each other, but it was my fault. How did you guys crash into each other? I, w I will take the blame. I was under the influence. He's fine. I'll she, was, she was going straight and I turned the car around and I realized that she was not. I dropped him off in front of the Walgreens. It's right in front of Groveland Ave. I dropped him off there. He was walking, and he went to go pick him up, and he bumped into me, but I'm under the influence, and I'll take the blame, and it's perfectly fine. I'm fine with that. So how did you get back here now? Because we, we, all, we all walked together. My car is still closer to the no, Walgreens. We found it. Yeah, yeah, my car is still over there. His car is parked over here, but... He's perfectly fine, and it's all my fault. Well, how come you didn't call the police? Because we were trying to figure it out through insurance yeah, companies and all that. We were trying to avoid you all left, of it. You left, like, debris all over the roadway, and your I, vehicle's disabled in the road up there. I understand. It's all my fault. All right. Well, who was in the cars? I was in the car driving. I you were in the blue car down there? I was in the blue car driving. He was in the Are silver car. He's fine. Who's the car racer to? Do you have any on you? How old are you? That's it. Do you have driver's license? I'll show you a picture. Where's your other shoe at? I just took it off in the bathroom, but I can... Yeah, why don't we get your shoe on? You want, to put, want me to put it on? Yeah, please. Okay. Yeah. You're 22? Yeah. Oh, my ID. Huh? My ID is in the blue car. Okay. tonight? Groveland. I was coming from Groveland Ave, but we were coming from Atlantic City. Okay. Who was coming from Atlantic City? Me and, and your boyfriend. Him, but he wasn't. He okay. was just coming from Linwood. 
You, what were you doing over in Linwood? That's where he lives. Okay. Okay. So you were coming from Atlantic City yeah, with your boyfriend in the car, right. driving the blue the car. Driving. I was the one driving. I know you keep saying that like it's like it like it's. I'm just letting you know that I was the one driving. Okay. Um. You get what? You get in a fight with your boyfriend? Is that why you left him no, at? No, no, no. I was just dropping him off at my car. Which was where? I dropped him off right in front of the Walgreens. Okay. Where his brother was going to pick him up. Why was his brother going to pick him up to take him to Limwood? Yeah, because he wanted to go home. Okay. I live in. You Florida. live. You live here I live by here. yourself. He lives in Limwood. Okay. Limwood okay. With All his right. brother. Okay. And you said you've been drinking tonight. I have. Okay. How much have you had to drink tonight? A few. What's a few? I've had like two beers and two shots. Two beers and two shots. Yes. At what time? Like over an hour ago. Okay. Well, without looking at a clock, what time do you think it is right now? Like 2 a.m. I okay. would say right now, if I had to guess, it's okay. 2 a.m. Okay. And what time did you start drinking? I'd say around midnight. Okay. All right. All right. So, what we're going to do is um, we're going to go outside and run you through some balance tests to make sure you're okay. Okay. And then we'll go from there. So, why don't, why don't we head out this way? Okay. Tell the boyfriend to come inside. Okay. No. I... <clears throat> All right. So what what, le what level of ed education have you completed in your lifetime? I've had two years of college okay. and nothing after that. Okay. So you know your alphabet from A to Z without yeah. seeing it, without skipping any letters. Absolutely. All right. So why don't you go ahead and and, and do your alphabet from A to Z? Don't sing it. Don't skip any letters. Just straight, straight through. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W H Y and Z. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Do you have any injuries from this accident? Are you no, hurt at all? I'm fine. Okay. Did the airbag go off? No. Okay. All right. So why don't you see this line here? Yes. Why don't you come up to that line? No, no. Stand right here. Right here. Uh, facing me. Come over here. Back up a little bit. All right. What I want you to do is I want you to put both feet together, okay. just like this, and put your hands at your side, just like this, okay? What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you uh, perform a balance test, okay? I'm going to demonstrate it to you, okay? Before you do it, don't start it until I tell you to start, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to take either leg of your choice, keep your hands at your side, you're going to raise that leg up, all right? And you're going to point your toe to the sky, okay. and you're going to stare at that toe, okay? And you're going to count out loud, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, all the way to uh, 30, 30 or until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay. Do you understand? 1, 1,000. I have to say 1,000 after every time. Okay. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Do you understand though? Yes. Or do you want me to demonstrate? I'm lifting my leg. Yep. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1, 14, 1, 15. All right, you can stop. All right. So what I'm going to do is I want you to stand on this line here, okay, okay and turn around and face me. Turn around and face me. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this test for you, okay? And what I want you to do is just watch me do it, all right? But before we start the test or, or I start demonstrating it, I want you to take your right foot and put it in front of your left foot just like this. Go ahead and do that now. All right. And just hold that position, all right? Okay. <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to walk heel to toe nine steps, okay? When you get to that ninth step, you're going to stop and you're going to take a series of small steps and turn around and go back and do heel to toe nine steps, okay? So it's going to look just like this and you're going to keep your hands at your side. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when you get to nine, you're going to take it just a series of small steps and do the same thing back. You understand? Okay. All right, whenever you're ready.
All right. All right. <clears throat> One more test, okay? What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you keep stand just like you are, hands to your side, just feet together, and I'm going to have you follow my finger, okay, with your eyes only. Okay. Okay? Don't move your head. Don't there move you your go. body. Do you understand? All right. 78074. And keep your eyes open, okay? Okay. Yeah, keep your eyes open, okay? Okay. All right, so based on everything that's been going on tonight, the accident, your admission, okay, and your tests, I do believe that you're under the influence of alcohol right now, okay? No, All right. I wouldn't be there. Okay. All right, so what, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you turn around, okay? All right? Put your hands behind your back. Can you please just let them know? Yeah, don't, don't know. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go. What's that? Can you please just let them know? Yeah. It's gonna be no. It's gonna be the one on Groveland because that's the one she was driving. For the Honda. The one that. Correct. Yeah, there's two. This got heavy too. Yeah, I know. It's. Uh, hold on, I'll be right there. Hold on. Holy shit. Fuck, do I get a call or something? We'll, we'll explain everything, okay? okay. All right, have a seat. Just watch your, watch your head, okay? Okay. Still be, which is still be 
um, right where the Walgreens is. Yeah, no, we know where your car is. I just didn't know if you left the keys in it or not. Yeah, I know for a fact that my home keys are inside of the house, but my car keys might still be inside of the car. Okay. You open seven. You open seven. Sierra 44, don't close 70. I can't get in far enough for uh, it to close properly. Alright, follow me. Great. I thought you were going to wipe my face later. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you some a tissue in a minute. Okay. Close this one. Yeah, when we're done when we're done with everything, I'll let you make a phone call. Okay, thank you. Alright, turn around. Okay. Just spread your hands out a little bit. There you go. Have a seat. You don't have your phone on you, do you? No. no? Okay. All right. So the, the females, the, what's your first name again? Liana. Liana. The, the, that blue vehicle that I gave you, that should come back with Liana, something, yeah, she's, she's in, is she in there yet? Oh, okay. Okay, well that, that's who I have, just so you know. All right.
Ariana? Is that how you say your name? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got to read something to you. Okay. okay. So if you just uh, try and pay attention, okay. and uh, and if you have any questions, wait until after I'm done reading it. Okay. Okay. All right. You have been arrested for driving while intoxicated. Thirty nine four dash fifty. The law requires you to submit samples of your breath for the purpose of testing to determine alcohol content. A record of the taking of the breath samples, including the test results, will be made. Upon your request, a copy of that record will be made available to you. After you have provided samples of your breath for testing, you have the right at your own expense to have a person or physician of your own selection take independent samples of your breath, blood, or urine for independent testing. If you refuse to provide samples of your breath, you will be issued a separate summons for the refusal. A court may find you guilty of both refusal and driving while intoxicated. <clears throat> if a court finds you guilty of the refusal, you will be subject to various penalties, including license revocation of up to 20 years, a fine of up to $2,000, installation of an ignition interlock, <coughs> and a referral to an intoxicated driver resource center. These penalties may be in addition to penalties imposed by the court for any other offense of which you are found guilty. You have no legal right to have an attorney, physician, or anyone else present for the purpose of taking the breath samples. You have no legal right to refuse to give or delay giving samples of your breath. Any response from you that is ambiguous or conditional in any respect to my request that you provide breath samples will be treated as a refusal to submit the breath testing. <coughs> Even if you agree to take the test, but then do not follow my instructions, do not properly perform the test, or do not provide sufficient breath samples, I will charge you with refusal to submit the breath testing. I repeat, the law requires you to submit samples of your breath for testing. Will you submit the samples of your breath? So as a part of this whole process, I have to um, uh, have a continuous 20-minute observation period of you without without you uh, uh, burping, throwing up, putting anything in your mouth, like like liquids or candy or whatever. Okay. So it's going to be about 20 minutes at least. Okay? No water. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have anything in your mouth right now? No. No gum or anything? Can oh. you look up? No. Like your whole head? Yeah. And open your mouth? And then... Lift up your tongue. Alright. Thank you. Uh -huh. How do you spell your last name? G R A. G R A. N I. N I. G L I A. G L I A. Yes. And how do you spell your first name? L I A. L I A. N N A. N. Yes. And you have a middle name? Maria. Maria. M-A-R-I-A. Okay. Uh, what's your date? <laughs> how much do you weigh? About 110 pounds. And how tall are you? Like five foot. Do I also? 
also have to wait 20 minutes to use the restroom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. John, or Leon, I'm sorry, what's your phone number? Six Where? Yeah, like what state? New or, Jersey. New Jersey? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go to what we call the ALCO test uh, to uh, get breast, breast samples from you. Okay. And then depending on what you what your uh, blood alcohol content is, we'll go from there. Okay. All right. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Uh, you have any tattoos? Um, yeah, I have one on my back. One on your back? One on my finger. Okay. What's your biggest tattoo on your back? On my back, yeah. What is it of? It's just like a writing down my spine. Okay. What does it have? A, a, what's it say? It says, I will love as much as I live, and or I will breathe as much as I live, something like that. Okay. I don't, honestly, I don't know. Is it a different language, though? No, it's in English. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a...
What kind of car do you have? Uh, 2019 Honda Civic. Honda Civic? Yeah. Is that two-door or four-door? It's a four-door. Liana, or Liana, are you sick right now? Uh, no. No? I'm just stuffy because I'm crying. Okay. Are you done under the care of a doctor for anything other no. than your primary? No. Okay. Are you taking any kind of medicine right now? No. No. You don't have diabetes, do you? No. Okay. And you're not injured, you said? So everything that I've talked to you about so far, um, there is a, a questionnaire that I that I need to ask, um, but uh, I gotta advise you of your Miranda rights okay. before that, okay? Okay. So. Um, I am a police officer investigating a DWI which allegedly occurred on Groveland Avenue in Summers Point, New Jersey. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used as evidence against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning, if you wish, at no expense to you. You can decide to at, at any time to exercise these rights and may stop answering questions at any time or consult with an attorney before answering further, even if you sign the waiver below. Um, so that being said, all I want to do is ask you some questions uh, about what you had to drink tonight and where and when and stuff like that. Okay. Do, you, do you want to answer those questions without an attorney or do you want to... I can answer them. Okay. Without an attorney? Yeah. It is almost four o'clock. Oh, jeez. Okay. You see your right hand, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> what kind of alcoholic drinks did you have tonight? I had two Corotas All right. and two shots of whiskey. What kind of whiskey? Uh, Tully. Tully? Tully? Yeah. And where was that at? I was in Atlantic City at Ducktown. At Ducktown. Yes. I just got off of work. Okay.
How much time do you think you had in between each drink? Uh, maybe like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. What time did you think, do you think you had your first drink? Um, uh, I got off of work around 9, and then I went home, so I'd say maybe like 10 o'clock with my first, like 10 o'clock, 10.30 with my first drink. Alright. So on, on the 7th, yesterday? Yes. Alright. And what time do you think you had your last drink? Like... like an hour or two before you guys came if I had to guess maybe around midnight midnight yes uh, do like you have 12 any... 12 30 okay do you have anything to eat um I ate mozzarella sticks while I was there that, okay that's the last thing you ate yes do you know what time you finished them you think um, I'm not sure if I had to get them maybe around like 11 30 okay Have a seat on that black chair for a sec. All right. So you see that little camera on the bottom there? Yes. Just just stare at that for me when you get a chance. All right. You can have a seat back on that bench. Your license says you're five three though. Are you five three or five foot? If I had to guess I would say five foot. Last okay. time I checked I was five foot. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're gonna head up in about like three minutes. Okay, I just need to fix my buttons. My okay. buttons aren't sure. fully sure. I just realized. You have something in your back pocket. Is it you don't have to grab it now. No, finish doing what you're doing. It's just a hair tie. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. Yeah. Alright. I have like 10 buttons on this thing. Okay. Good? Yeah. Right. You don't have an Apple Watch on or anything like that, right? No. no? Okay.
right, so your BAC was a 1.5. Okay, the legal limit is an OE. So you were um, almost double the legal limit. Okay. Uh, so we are, we got to look at something real quick. <clears throat> One five. Yeah. Uh, so that means you need to stay with us until ten forty five this morning. Okay. Because uh, we had, we participate in John's Law uh, too, which we hold uh, intoxicated drivers till it's over. Okay. Um, <clears throat> You don't have your cell phone on you. Do you know phone numbers off your your head? You don't? Okay. <laughs> and you said until 10 a.m.? 1045. 1045. Yeah. And then after that, I have to get picked up, obviously. Uh, well, no, you can walk home if you wanted, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, yeah, so just dial out the area code and then the number, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Write down the insurance insurance for me if you leave the What'd you say? Or anything? No, they're just talking on the phone in the background. Um I mean if the, the 
ten guys still at the yard, then yeah, they, they should be really good there. I can't. Alright. I can't. No. Okay, but still, you know why? Because of Noah. Still. He wants to exactly, know that's the why. I just, they're letting hmm? him have to. Do you want the alcohol in case that you are doing yours? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I know, but still, he's just looking all over. He's just looking out for him. I know what I, I know what I, I know. Oh, hey, hey. Just to see if the other driver's still there. Let me see if I can get uh, information for the I don't think it was in your car because the officer got your purse out of there for you. So, okay, yeah, just check it. It might either be, oh, it might be in the bathroom. It might be in the bathroom. But, like, the last person I texted was Cindy, so it's probably in the bathroom somewhere. Well, you want to sign this down before it comes out? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. me. The minute I walked out, they gave me a test, and they handcuffed me, put me in the back of the car, took me to the station, gave me a breathalyzer, and told me I was double over the limit. Now I have to stay until 1045. They told me I had, they told me if I knew any numbers off the top of my head, and it was yours. So that's why I am calling you. The minute I walked in the door, they told me they were going to give me a series of tests. After those tests, they told me from the test that I took, they said, okay, I need to be arrested. So I got arrested, got put in the back of the car. Then I got taken over here, where I paid my tickets for the fucking parking ticket. That's where I am. That's where I am right now, in front of Charlie's. There are three officers in here with me right now. They all hear me right now. I'm sitting on a bench. What do you mean? No, but 
no, there's nobody else in here besides three other officers. They're all chilling, mind they're just doing whatever the fuck they gotta do. Yes, it's just three officers, like I just said. Okay, I got asked a few questions. I took a breathalyzer test. They told me I was double over the limit. Yeah, something like that.
So we didn't have water for a while, so I want to make sure it flushed. Okay, um, let me see. So just so you know, um, once this door shuts, you see this here. This this thing, like the the uh, the camera that's pointed is pointed directly at this. Okay. So when you use the restroom, that we can see it. Okay. okay. All right. And then there's a female dispatcher working anyway, but. Nobody can see it. Okay. All right? Yep. All right, ma'am. We are getting out of here. Did you have any property with you? Like keep your purse and some jewelry. All right, just have a seat for me. Oh, you're right.
Oh, here? Okay. You gotta get the property form for you to sign off. You get your stuff there. Yeah. Oh, where do you get mail? Get mail there? Yes. There's not like another address you use? No. Okay. And then these are your tickets for last night, okay? So you have a court date on the bottom of them? Okay, this one make a left. Yep. And then when you gotta get your car, you just come back here later, okay? Yeah. 